these videos about the airplanes and whether or not they are a good idea. I'm going to share with you the pros and cons, risks and side effects of nerve blocks, but also what anesthesiologists think about them. If you're going to have surgery in the future, watch this video before you say no too quickly. Regional anesthesia is great for pain management, but it's not right for everyone. Regional anesthesia can also have some small risks and certain side effects. Hi, my name is Ariel Grass. I'm an anesthesiologist and I'm going to tell you all about nerve blocks, what they are, how they work, who can have them done, and why it might be a good idea for you, and a consideration why it wouldn't. Nerves are a part of life. They are the underlying connection between our brain and body, helping you move, feel. They are also responsible for making you feel pain. Peripheral nerve blocks are performed by anesthesiologists under ultrasound guidance. So it is easier for us to find the exact spot for the injection. The injections can be done before the surgery starts or just after when the pain appears. The latter is less ideal as there are reported benefits of blocking the pain signal before. A nerve block is basically an injection of anesthesia right near your nerves to help alleviate the pain caused by an injury or surgery. The procedure will involve injecting anesthetic around the nerves that bring the pain for your perception. They essentially temporarily numb the area where the needle goes into our body and the areas that each nerve is responsible for. This type of anesthesia is called regional anesthesia because it's regional and not general. Nerve blocks are used for many different reasons and in many different surgeries. They can be very helpful, especially if there is significant pain expected after a surgery or if the patient is consuming important amounts of strong pain medication or opioids, such as hydromorphone, oxycodone, morphine, etc. That is going to make pain management a challenge. But wait, don't we have the classic general anesthesia way, which is certainly going to work? It's less invasive, right? And doesn't involve needles. So, not great enough? Well, not so fast. General anesthesia has its own risks and side effects as well. Some patients ask whether it is okay to decline this kind of anesthesia. Well, the short answer is yes. No procedure can be done by force. And we do have a good alternative, general anesthesia. But whether it's worth it or not, it's for you to decide. So here are the pros and cons of nerve blocks for surgery. The risks of a nerve block are that there is a chance that they won't actually work and the pain will not be reduced. Other usual risks we warn our patients of mainly include nerve damage, bleeding and infection. Other cons of a nerve block are that they can cause numbness in the area where it was given or more distally or even motor block, meaning a limitation on the blocked limb movement and eventually needing to use a cast. You might not even know where your arm or leg is at a certain moment. Nerve blocks are considered relatively safe if administered correctly by an experienced professional. It has become increasingly less common per the literature as we know they use a ultrasound machine to get an image of our needle at all times and visualize all your structures. The fact that you might not know where your limb is or that you won't be able to move it for a certain amount of hours can be overcompensated by the fact that you might have a significantly better pain control and that your arm or leg would be put on a cast to avoid injuries anyways. Other pros of nerve blocks include decreasing post-operative pain, a reduced amount of strong opioid medications used, which that would carry significant side effects, such as nausea, vomiting, itching, constipation, respiratory depression, among others. And you can save that side effects. Okay, but am I going to be awake, patients ask? Not necessarily. Regional anesthesia can also be accompanied by something that's called sedation, which is a relaxing medication that helps you control your stress and even sleep a bit. What is recommended for surgery is not so straightforward. It depends on the type of surgery, expected level of pain, opioid use, past medical history, and current illnesses, and also on the patient's own preference, of course. For example, a mild surgery not generating significant pain would not greatly benefit from a nerve block, and probably it's not worth it. For a patient on blood thinners or having significant bleeding risk, some blocks might not be feasible. A patient with a diagnosis of sleep apnea or previous bad experiences with opioids and significant side effects, for example, this patient might benefit. 
An aesthetic plan would be offered to you with all these considerations in mind and it's usually up to you to decide. So is nerve block a good or a bad idea? It depends. It depends on who you are, your medical history, the experience of your anesthetist and the type of surgery you're having and ultimately whether you want it or not or if it's reasonable to you. Hope this answers your questions, otherwise let me know if you would like to know some more. I will gladly answer your questions in the comment section below. Best, bye bye now.